guys welcome back to my channel for today's video we will go into the gym so these are just some of the few steps that i do every time i go to gym i make sure that i have my water bottle with me my gloves with me and i bring my whey protein with me this is what i drink after working out two hours before hitting the gym i would have my pre-workout meal this is to give me energy while working out the gym so I'm gonna share with you guys what you know I, how I actually prepare myself every time I go to the gym and don't get me wrong guys I don't always wear makeup at the gym you know because I go to the gym like so early in the morning before going to work so I don't really have time to put on my makeup but if I wanted to look you know cute if I wanted to look still like fresh even though I'm sweating out at the gym this is the kind of routine that I would normally do. It is just a soft makeup. You do your normal skincare routine, guys, before you apply your makeup. You cleanse your face, tone your face, and moisturize your face. So before I put on my primer and my foundation, I'm going to start with a sunscreen. So this is from L'Oreal. This is the UV Perfect Advanced 12-Hour UV Protector. So I love this sunscreen. I always use it every day because this is very light. It doesn't feel so sticky at all when you apply it on your face. So it doesn't, you know, feel heavy at all. This is like a very crucial part of our everyday skincare routine. Okay, so after the sunscreen, we will be using this one, the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Since I will be using a waterproof foundation and my skin is dry on this part of my face, so I need something that would hydrate my face. And we move ahead to the foundation. The foundation I'm going to use, this is from Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof long wear foundation so in this kind of makeup guys since we're going to the gym we're, we will be sweating a lot so the type of foundation that we're going to use is really really important so for this one we have to use a waterproof and a long wear foundation so this is in the shade of three apply this foundation i'm going to use my zoeva 102 silk finish brush I really, I've been using this foundation for quite some time and I love this foundation as this is really long wearing and you don't need a lot of product when using this foundation. And to cover our under eye circles so that we don't look so tired even though we're working out at the gym and we still look fresh, I'm going to use this concealer from Catrice. This is also waterproof and I'm in the shade of 10 porcelain. This is one of my go-to concealer because it gives a coverage on your eyes guys. It really covers your under eye circle without feeling so dry and cakey at all. For my brush guys, I'm going to use this one. This is 142 concealer buffer from Zoeva. And to set my foundation and my concealer, I'm going to use this one. This is again from Catrice. This is the Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. One good thing about this powder, this is waterproof and it's in the shade of 10 which is translucent. This is transparent so it fits on every skin tone. So it says here it is silky waterproof powder for a long lasting mattified and flawless complexion. And to set my concealer, I'll be using this brush. Brush. To set my concealer, I'll be using this brush. This is from Real Techniques. I don't know what brush it is because the marking here has faded already. So. And for my face, I'm going to use this one. This is from Zoeva. This is 106 powder. I 
okay we will not going to do any contouring for today because this is just a light makeup so we will go ahead with the bronzer for this one i'm going to use this is the rimmel natural bronzer and this is a waterproof bronzing powder so it's it says here this is actually in the shade of 21 which is sunlight so it says here waterproof bronzing powder velvet soft texture for a naturally even bronze look wears up to 10 hours and the brush i'm using for this bronzer this is from sephora bronzer 44. we just apply the bronzer to where we would normally contour our face and warm up our face a bit for my brows we're not going to totally you know shape our brows we're just gonna fill them in and we're just going to pull them together i don't have like a waterproof eyebrow here but i'm going to use this one this is from benefit cosmetics the browsing and this is in the shade of three i totally love this one because this is long wearing Okay, for the eyeshadow, we will not going to do a very heavy eyeshadow here, but we want it to stay in place, so we will going to use an eye primer. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the eyeshadow photo focus primer. So we just apply a little bit of primer, just to make sure that the eyeshadow that we're going to use will stay in place. And for the eyeshadow, we will not going to use a heavy makeup since, you know, I, I, I'm just looking for a very soft makeup. We will just going to put on some depth on our eyes. I'm going to use this shade right here. This is actually from Colourpop Cosmetics. This is in the shade of Paper Tiger. And I'm going to my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. E40. We will just going to apply it on the crease of our eyes. This is just to give a little depth to our eyes. After that one, I'm going this one. This is in the shade of Koi. This is also from Colourpop Cosmetics. So we will just dip in our crease. So at the corner to the crease of our eyes. I'm using the 231 Lux Petit Crease from Zoeva. any waterproof blusher but I'm going to use this one this is from Tarte Cosmetics this is in the shade of party okay this is not waterproof but it says here this is a 12 hour blush and I've been using this one yes it lasts longer so when I apply it I'm just going to do this kind of stroke to give it a flushed look you know when you're working out you have that flushed face so yeah okay so we go now to this thing right here because I'm not going to put on any falsies right now we just wanted to open up our eyes we still want it to look natural so yeah let's curl them to open up our eyes for our mascara I'll be using this one this is the Maybelline Magnum Big Shot this is a waterproof mascara if you want to be a little bit extra even though it's just a simple makeup then you can choose to put on some glow or some highlight on your face so for this one i want to put a little bit of glow on my face i'll be using this this is the sleek makeup this is the highlighting palette solstice solstice okay. and i will be using this one this is the elf highlighting brush. I will be using the shade right here. To seal everything, I'm going to use this one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. We 
we've already sealed our makeup and I forgot my lips. I'm not going to use any liquid lipstick or even a cream lipstick. I'm going to use a lip balm and for that one, I'm going to use this Sugar Fresh. This is in the shade of Coral and I really, really love this lip balm because it has an SPF, uh, I think, 25 or 30 because you know faded already but I love this one because it will really give a tint or some shade to your lips while moisturizing it this is the final look of our gym friendly makeup the products that we use are long wearing because most of them are waterproof makeups and when every time I go to the gym I always wear a cap because I wanted the hair away from my face so I tied it back or I will just do a simple two braids at the so side. This is just an easy braid at the side because I always want to wear cap at the gym to keep the hair away from my face and you know still look cute with your cap on. I hope you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please click on the subscribe button below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys on my next video bye